welcome back to my channel. <laughs> How y'all doing? How your mama doing? If this is your first time, welcome, baby. Get comfortable, take your shoes off, you in the living room. Grab a drink. Turn on TV. <laughs> Before I get going into this, I want to real quick send a shout out to my subscribe tribe. Pick -a -pick -a -pick -a -pick -a tribe, tribe. <laughs> if you don't know what the subscribe tribe is, it is the best people on this here planet Earth that have decided to this to describe to subscribe to your girl and tune in to watch my videos and see what I'm doing and me do hauls and all this other things like well literally mostly just hauls it wasn't until this week that I tried something new but you know we, we gonna talk about all that so what this video is is I put a poll out there and I said, what do y'all want to see from me? Cause you know, we in this quarantine, we in the house, we kicking in, we chilling, like, you know, we living our best lives from within these four walls. So I figured this would be a really good time for people to get to know me. So I asked everybody to kind of like spam me with some questions and I want to do 21 questions, uh, just to, you know, I don't know why 21, but 21, we're gonna do however many questions y'all ask. I'm literally gonna add, answer every single question that you ask me in this video and no questions is off the limits no, what's the word no questions are off limits there we go <laughs> so without further ado let's get into this video <laughs> so originally i was gonna like do something while answering the questions like do my makeup or something like that but i always feel like i get so distracted like I get distracted very easily if you don't know me <laughs> so I figured the best way for me to go about doing this is to literally just stand here with the questions and answer them so if you were wanting more from this video I'm sorry this is all I could give you because either you're gonna get answers or you're gonna get makeup because the combination of the two I ain't about to I ain't about to be sitting here for an hour with y'all and then ain't none of the questions getting answered so first question comes from Bob. I needed some bop in it. Yes. She said, why do you wear wigs when you have the most beautiful natural hair? First of all, thank you for the compliment. <laughs> Second of all, I wear wigs because I am natural and my hair likes to be left alone. So the less I do to my hair, the more it grows. And that's how I can get it to grow. And I'm, I want it to grow as far as it can grow. Like it's about like, well, I need to clip my ends right now, but Nigel said that I can't clip them myself. And since we're in quarantine, I can't go nowhere to get them done. So if the ends were clipped, I don't know where I would be, but I'm about like this far from like waist length. And I just want to see like what that's like. Um, so I wear it to, to answer the question. I wear wigs because I wear them as a protective style. Um, when you're natural, you, you my naturalistas, you know how that is. Like it's a lot of work to have to do natural hair. And previously, like I didn't have a lot of time to do that. But I mean, obviously now I got all the time in the world, which is why I got straight hair now. And it didn't even take me that long to use to do it. But I wear wigs and braids and weave and all that just as protective styles because my hair enjoys low to no maintenance. So when I do things to my hair and like start manipulating a lot, my ends start to get like real tattered up. And then next thing you know, I got to cut it. So to avoid that, I just kind of only wear my hair out some of the time. And yeah, cause I have never found like what works for my hair naturally. Like when I wear it in its natural state, like curly to keep it moisturized. And I've tried every product under the sun. So trust me, there's probably nothing that, what, that I'm not going to say. There probably are things that I haven't tried that you could suggest to me. Um, but I, I mean, just for me, it works for me just to, you know, pull it back and put a wig on it and it's out the door. So I hope that answers your question. So this next question is from Brenna Love. Made me think of Buddy Love. Brenna Love. She asked me a few questions actually. So the first one she said is if I could have one superpower, what would it be? And I think it would be to fly, like the ability to fly, because I could get places quicker without having to, you know, like pay for a flight. So I mean, even though flights are like dirt cheap right now, but I would probably do the ability to fly. I'm trying to think that through quickly. But yeah, if I yeah, yes um my favorite color my favorite color is actually gold i don't know if you've ever looked in the background of my apartment but there are a lot of gold accents i love the color gold i, I don't discriminate like i like all colors but if i had to pick one favorite it would be gold 
and what is my sign i don't really believe in this kind of stuff uh i'm a gemini and the reason why i don't believe it because they say we're crazy so <laughs> i mean also i mean it's just not my thing but um I think I, and, and people who know me will attest that I do not fit into that Gemini category that's like crazy, crazy, crazy. I feel like, what the heck was on my head? Probably nothing as I just said, I'm not crazy. <laughs> well, there's that. Yeah, I am a Gemini. My birthday is June 18th. If you want to get me a gift, go ahead and let me know. Um, but yes, I'm a Gemini, but I think I'm real chill. Like I'm not like a real like crazy, like I know some crazy Gemini. I ain't gonna name no names, but she may or may not be one of my line sisters, but <laughs> I know some crazy Gemini's. Um, but I just don't feel like I fit into that. Like I'm, I'm more like laid back and chill. Like I don't really care too much about all that. You know what I'm saying? And in my dating quick answer, no. I mean, nobody is right now because of the quarantine, but I mean, if you got like a cousin or a brother or an uncle or somebody who, you know what I'm saying, know how to treat a woman and, you know what I'm saying, ain't gonna be tripping and love the Lord and wears glasses, that's a thing, wears glasses and he tall and dark and, you know what I'm saying, like just slide my DMs, let me know about him, okay? No. <laughs> The next question, oh, I'm about to butcher this name, comes from Morelli Echevarria. Hey, girl. And she says, what are your recommendations for women that want to start their own business? Do it. That is my recommendation. Do it. <laughs> Go for it. This is the time, especially like right now where we have like kind of this downtime. If if you have downtime, I can I can only speak for me. I can't speak for everybody. But if you have down, downtime, I definitely recommend starting. And I would do like research on what it is that you want to do and like what your niche is. Um, I'm just trying to think of like the things that I did. I did go ahead and register my pretty Nikki business as an LLC um, because I do work with brands and I do work with like Google obviously for AdSense and things like that. I wanted to separate my personal finance stuff from the stuff that I do as an influencer slash model. So I did go ahead and um, register my business as an LLC. I don't even know entirely what that like what I should and could be doing with that at this point but um, I'm learning so I, it's a learning process for me I am the child of an entrepreneur my mom also has her own business so I definitely recommend women to start their own and like not trying to be funny but like during this time and how everything has gone with like a lot of companies during this coronavirus and like quarantine and all this like I have learned the importance of having my own that nobody can you know let me go from and nobody can you know something that nobody can take from me like i i appreciated having a side hustle because now it is my main hustle and it's like i think this just opened my eyes to the importance of doing what i love and what i want to do so i say do it girl girls do it everybody everybody own your own business ownership is important it's amazing it's not always fun, but it's fun. It can be fun. Okay, the next question is from Chris Makeup and Music 88. Hey girl. Um, her question is, is there anyone special in your life with the eye emojis and the heart? And as I just said a minute ago, I'm single as a dollar bill. So again, if y'all know something that I don't know, if y'all know somebody, let me know. I'm on month to month on my uh on my lease. I'll move. I'll relocate for love or whatever. I'm ready. I'm ready. Like whenever God just be like, all right, Nikki, this is him. Here is your future. Don't scare him away. And I'll be like, thank you, Jesus. Like I've been waiting on this. So, I mean, I would love to have somebody. I would definitely love to have somebody in here, you know, rating my hauls as I do them. Like, I, I can't wait to do like the cute YouTube stuff. So I hope he ain't like camera shy. So that's my prayer. Like make the vision plain and, 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 and you know, write it down, make it plain and somebody run with it or something. I have to go. But Jesus know what I want. But no, I don't have anybody right now. Only person special my person but adonis does that count no <laughs> the next question is from shonda nicole is it shanda shonda shonda nicole what up to nicole that's my middle name um her question is do you have any sponsored videos 
If so, how long were you doing hauls before you became sponsored? Yes, I do have some sponsorships, which is amazing. Shout out to those companies. Um, and I was doing them for maybe about a year before I started to receive any like money for it. Um, yeah, but all of like the clothes and things were gifted to me since I started. Um, and I've told the whole story about how I got started as being an influencer in my, I think it was a get ready with me video. Um, I'll try to link it below. So if you have any questions about that, but yeah, so it was about a year into doing it that I, I got some sponsorships. This next question is from my love 32 Amen. And they asked, why did I, why did you start your channel? What inspired you to do it? And what advice do you have for people who want to start a channel? Sorry, my English is not the best. I'm Dutch. Well, hey, I don't know how to say hey in Dutch, but hello. Um, so to answer your questions, what made me start a channel? Uh, for me personally, it is raining really hard. For me personally, I didn't see anybody just like me on YouTube. Like I, I was one, well I still am like a very, very, very heavy YouTube watcher. So, um, but the crazy thing is like as I was, I was watching, I didn't see anybody who was just like me. Like shaped like me, my personality, like I didn't see me. So I felt like there has to be somebody else in the world who felt like they didn't, they didn't see them. So I have, I felt like I had to fill that gap, if you know what I'm saying. Um, cause I wanted to be there for people who are tall and hippie with a big butt and like you know that, that, that wants to know how to dress or you know how to make something look cute or just for like you know like me personally I'm a believer <clears throat> and I feel like sometimes believers get put in a box that they have to be a certain way and I just feel like I wanted to show people like you could believe in God and be yourself like God's not boring there's nothing boring about Jesus like so I wanted to show you like and I mean maybe somebody might think I'm boring but I don't think I am so I wanted to kind of just stand in that gap and and feel like fill that void that I didn't see there now if there is a channel out there of somebody who's very similar to me like girl I can't wait to find you and watch your stuff but um I I, I didn't see her so I became her that's that's the best way that I could put it um what did what inspired you well, that kind of answer um what advice do you have for people who want to start a channel do it literally like go for it figure out what it is that you want to do uh, i'm not an expert at it like i'm still trying to figure things out like i don't want to get stuck in just doing hauls and things like that but like figure out whatever you want to do pick up your phone your camera whatever and just film like there is, I, I have so much footage of things that i haven't used that i can like kind of bank and use in the future if i want to like i say just start and don't use like equipment and things like that as an excuse and just build your, you know what I'm saying? Build your, I don't know the word to look for, but, but build your equipment and things as you go along. You don't have to have everything to start out with in the beginning. So I think the first thing I got was my camera and I used my income tax money and I got my camera. So that was like an investment. And then after that, I got a ring light and I didn't get the demo one. That's why it's like light, light. So advice if you're gonna get a ring light get the dimmable one spend the extra money because i didn't and every time i turn this thing on i'm just like light okay <laughs> um i do have a soft box over here that i sometimes don't even use and like right now i'm going to purchase like photo backgrounds and things like that so like i would i would say invest in what you're doing but you don't have to have it all to get started so if you just have your phone like iphone cameras are amazing now so like just go ahead and yeah i'm partial to iphones i don't know about no androids like we ain't doing no surveillance videos on youtube so <laughs> if you're an android person i'm sorry but this is not my thing um but yeah like go do it do it do your research um do like there are youtube videos about starting youtube channels i've watched those like i did a lot of research when i got started because it was something that i was already doing i enjoyed youtube so i'm like i might as well learn how to do these things and like how to increase my views and how to get monetized and there's there it's literally in front of you like you i call it youtube university it's right there like get your degree and get your coins <laughs> did i answer all the questions i just got to rambling yeah that's it on that one the next question is from the knee cab and 
their question is what do you do job wise and what's your degree in postgraduate certification so as of right now <laughs> i am a full-time influencer who knew who knew i knew but y'all didn't know i guess y'all know now i am a full-time uh youtuber plus size model influencer you know i, I do that full-time now however I do my degree. I have two degrees. Um, two degrees hotter. I got a degree. Both of them are in sports administration. Uh, my undergraduate degree is from the University of Cincinnati in sports management. And my master's is from Ohio University in <clears throat> sports administration. So I'm not using any of those right now. But hey, I got them if I ever want to again. So there's that. <laughs> Uh, the next question is from Rasulin Taylor. Hey girl. And her question is, how did you become sponsored? Uh, well, I did a lot of unsponsored videos and then one day I just said, you know what? I could be getting paid for this. So then I asked a couple companies that I was working for, like, Hey, is there any, you know, money that could go with this? And it was like, yeah. Thanks God, you know, <laughs> like it was, it was just that easy. Like I asked, I was already doing the work. So it's not like they weren't getting anything in return, but, um, you know, I, I learned my worth and I, I did my research on like what I should be making. And, um, yeah, so that's, that's how I got sponsored. The next question is from Margie Daniels. Hey, Margie girl. Hey. And she said, what are you doing? Or no, she didn't. She said, what are your plans for expanding your brand? Oh my gosh. So, um, I would like to go more into like vlogging. Um, I would love to do travel vlogging, but we can't travel right now. So at the moment that I am able to travel, I would like to incorporate that into my brand. I would like to get into merchandising. Like I, I would love to have merch that you know I can have my subscribe tribe walking around in rocking that so that's something else that I'm really interested in doing I would actually like to like model model full-time like I would love to be um, from my mouth to God's ears I would love to have like an agent and be signed to go and do work because um, I, I, I really do enjoy being in front of the camera um, Adonis is awake now um, but yeah, that's just some of the ways uh, I would love to do some speaking engagements, um, whether, you know, virtually or in person, I would love to host events and things like that. So if anybody is looking for somebody, you know, your girl is here and available. So once the world open back up, opens back up, we can get some things popping, but I would love to just take this as far as I can go. And in whatever ways that that looks like, it's just all exciting to me because it's all like, it's my baby. Like this is what, this is, this is what I have kind of created. And I mean, I would love to do oh so, so many things. Like I don't want to just, you know, tell all my business because I'm going to hit you with some surprises too. But yes, I would love to, um, love to expand in those ways. And I would actually love to do like a line with one of the clothing companies that I work with. That's that's like one of my main big goals that I would like to expand to. So again, Jesus, you hear me? <laughs> the next question is from Danielle Collins. What up? My, and the question is, what are you doing with your COVID check? I'm gonna make it rain. No, I think I'm actually gonna save it. It's like, it's boring. But during this quarantine, I have learned that I don't need to spend as much money as I was spending. And I want to keep that up once we are, you know, like back out into, you know, the groove of, of working and things like, or like, you know, just being out of the house. I like to keep that up, but I would like to move sometime soon. So I, I really would like to use that check for that. Or maybe like to go on a trip. I would like to do like a, you know, my first like travel vlogging type thing so i might book a book a flight or something or i might just save it because i mean it's a smart thing to do i guess that's what they tell me adulting <laughs> okay so the next question is from sexy sister what up girl and her question is or she has a lot of questions um 
what what can i read what college did you graduate from as i already said university of cincinnati and ohio university and when did i pledge when did you pledge i pledged fall 2010 and why did i pledge um it was an opportunity for like networking and sisterhood and that kind of thing i researched for all organizations and of them uh sigma gamma Rho stuck out to me the most and it kind of aligned more with like what i was about and what i stood for so that is why and what else what's your advice for a non-greek mother whose child is interested in pledging just support them i know like for me like my parents they didn't understand it but they were just like all right like if that's what you want to do like do it <laughs> so i mean i would just say support your child and and what they want to do and uh just kind of be there for like a listening ear if they have any questions or anything for you um buy them some really cute gifts like when they cross <laughs> But just make sure that they are doing it. I don't really think there's no such thing as a right reason because everybody has their own reasoning for it. But um, just make sure that they are grounded in who they are before they do this. Because I know a lot of times like when people go Greek, it becomes their identity and like they lose sight of who they were before. And I would just as, as somebody like from the outside looking in, I don't know your kid, but I would just say like, just make sure that they know who they are before they get into this because it that can sometimes those lines can get blurred so know yourself is the best advice so help your kid know yourself and last but not least would you consider doing a video with clips of you grooving in your try on hauls of course <laughs> of course i have so much footage of me literally just dancing around this living room looking crazy so yes i i would definitely include that so I had a couple people ask me some questions like on Instagram as well. Um, I did not get their names, but um, one of the questions I do remember was who do I like to watch on YouTube? And oddly enough, even though like you probably wouldn't understand why, I love my family. <laughs> if you don't know who she is, she's a 17 year old Canadian Asian child that is I just love her I just think she's so funny and she just cracks me up with her 2 a.m. cleanup videos I watch hers um I watch her videos all the time um I do enjoy uh Daquana White also um Sarah Ray Vargas uh if, if you don't know who she is she's like an OG in the in the plus size fashion YouTube game uh Jackie Ina duh like you can't say YouTube without saying cousin Jackie because she ain't my auntie but she's my cousin Jackie um who else do I watch I watch a lot I watch a lot of um like DIY videos like if I need to know how to cook something so it's not necessarily like a specific channel um who else who else uh Iris I love Iris um let me go to my suggestions real quick and see who I who I be watching. I watch Pretty Nikki. Oh, Brad Mondo. I love Brad Mondo. Um, how can I forget this? The Terrell Show. I love Terrell Grice. If you don't watch Terrell's channel, you tripping. I love Terrell. Uh, who else? Let me scroll. Let me scroll. Let me scroll. Jade, I really like Jade. Um, Miss Naturally Mary, I enjoy her. Uh, Transformation Church, watch a lot of Transformation Church. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of like a thick girl's closet. I do, I do bang with her as well. Yeah, I'm just going through my um, Arnell Armand. I really enjoy her videos. She's funny. Kev on stage. You know that kind of stuff. Uh, Ke Kiana Naomi. I, I like her too. Um, a little bit of everybody. Honestly. like it's. I don't have like one set kind of person that I, I watch. Oh, Naturally Nisi. I love Naturally Nisi as well. That's my girl. That is my girl. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. 
So since I answered all of your questions in the videos, if you have any more questions, just post them in the comments below on this video and I will try my darndest to answer every question that you ask. Um, but yeah, if you want to do another video like this, just let me know and we can, we can make that happen. We can make it happen. Thank you for everybody who submitted questions. I really appreciate y'all taking the time out your day to, you know, write me a few questions. If you enjoyed this video and if you feel like you learned a little bit more about me, comment below and be like, oh girl, I didn't know that. Let me know. Um, there are also some, I want to do it. Uh, I, I won't even say anything, but I'm going to do a video in the future to, um, See how well y'all know me as well but that is all that i have please subscribe please hop over to the gram pretty nikki over there as well give me a follow if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video mm. see you next time